Report shows since passage of Don't Say Gay, there has been a 400% increase in anti-LGBTQ plus hate speech. A new report from the HRC and the Center for Countering Digital Hate shows a 400% increase in anti-LGBTQ plus comments and posts on social media following the passing of Florida's Don't Say Gay bill. The majority of the posts come in the form of misuses of the term groomer or pedophile to describe anyone who identifies as LGBTQ+. Much of the usage stems from rhetoric coming from a very small group of extremists who are targeting children as a political, political weapon. Just 10 people drove more than 66% of the groomer tweets, including Governor Ron DeSantis' press secretary, Christina Pushaw, extremist members of Congress like Marjorie Taylor Greene and Lauren Boebert, and pro-Trump activists like Libs of TikTok founder uh, Shia Raincheck. Even on Queer News Tonight, nearly all segments that feature stories about students or LGBTQ plus have comments referring to groomers, including targeting special editions of the show where all of our anchors were LGBTQ plus high school students. What do we think about this, groomers? I mean, it, yeah, exactly. It's really, it's sad, obviously, yeah. that they're going to level these types of uh, comments at kids who are minors themselves in some cases. But to me, it's also a teachable moment because being the focus of somebody's absolute vitriol on the internet is, uh, a, a, is something that we all have to get used to. And the kids that I talk to, you know, it hurts them. It's sad. But at the same time, get used to it because... This whole don't say gay situation is not going away. As you move into adulthood, you're going to be the focus of these attacks on a continuing basis. Yeah, it's, it just shows you how low they'll go. I mean, they really will dip into the depths of, of everything to promote fear. Yeah. Well, and among the lowest of the low is, is uh, Pasha, as I think sounds like a better name for her. Uh, mm. She's now moved from uh, Governor Death Sentence's uh, press secretary to working on his campaign. So mm -hmm. she'll have a whole new platform mm -hmm. to spew her hatred. So, so that's great. We've seen it before, right? Right after the election of President Trump, it emboldened folks to come out and have yeah. a yeah, lot to sure. say. And it, the timing is similar. The passage of the law just happened, and it emboldens folks who have who hide behind the camera, behind, who hide behind the laptop to write these comments yeah. for a community that's already so vulnerable. Mm. And the, you know, the, the, the whole issue is that the Santos wants to hide, you know, behind the record he has on education, which is not that great. Um, the state of Florida certainly has a lot of issues around education. Yeah. So um, teaching about our gender identity is certainly not what's bringing down test scores in the state. It's the lack of attracting teachers into the classroom. Mm. And this policy doesn't do anything to help that. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, in, in addition to attracting, an issue is retention, right? Yeah, Once right. you attract them, it's creating this, uh, a scenario in which they can thrive in the classroom where they are equipped, where they can serve these students mm -hmm. who are suffering from bullying, cyberbullying, and also extending teachers more grace. They're the more, most important profession in, mm -hmm. in our society, I would argue. For sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, and then the way it is now is just, again, that we're, bully we're being bullied with false accusations uh, in order to promote fear, mm -hmm. uh, not just among ourselves, uh, as we've talked about many times on here before, how we kind of force ourselves into segments, and that's what, that's what they're trying to do, mm -hmm. uh, and, and force ourselves against each other, but also to, um, to, to show the rest of the world that it's okay to hate, mm -hmm. people, which is terrible. LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.